Welcome to We Funny AF, formerly the MPL Eagle Live podcast, same crew, new do. We got the upper echelon, end all, be all, duality, part 108, hold up, available across all streaming services. We still have the same website set up for merch at imperialinkmusic.com. Various t-shirts and masks. And we also have new merch on the way specifically for the podcast. And it's coming soon. So, let's get into this, y'all. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, them Imperial boys is back. Yeah. And of course, you know we had to come back on some new shit. Yeah. Uh, uh. So, without further ado, I welcome you to the We Funny AF Podcast. Yeah. I'm the one and only Figs. I'm with my main man, Biggs. And we about to take you there. Let's go. We funny AF. We funny Hey, we finally back, y'all. No gear. This is uh, We Funny AF season, what is this, three? I don't, nigga, I lost count. <laughs> Long time. <laughs> this season three. I think I'm just going to let y'all know we ain't doing two episodes a week until later on. We're going to go back to our regular uh, one episode per week and then when yeah, things start to ramp up, they, we'll double up on them. They weren't wanting to meet. <clears throat> the numbers we was trying to get, <laughs> and we it, had to tell them we uh, couldn't do it. it actually, it, that's our, a lie. Our, <laughs> the ratings <laughs> did go up a little bit with the with the double uh, episode, so we are going to go back to that. But first, we're going to do a few uh, just single episodes per week. Yep. Um, seeing that we are back, we're going to address a few things uh, that's happened since the new year began. Brand new year. Brand crazy, new year. crazy bullshit. Yeah, it's been some wild shit going on. Uh, a lot of losses. Yeah, um, yeah. A lot of uh, just just wild shit in general. Oh, yeah. Um, I, I'll start with my personal loss. My mom passed away. Yes. And a lot of people uh, were really, <clears throat> excuse me, a lot of people were really uh, saddened by this self included no, of course they were sad and they, they were fucked up yeah <laughs> <laughs> mainly because she was the matriarch of a lot of the older people in Greenville she was one of the last ones <clears throat> excuse me and uh, she was uh, one of, the, of what they call the golden girls and uh, the uh, the porch women yeah her and Nam would sit on the porch and uh, sometimes Julie two good ones and <laughs> oh, three good ones <laughs> I bet there was some shit cooking up in there boy, when they, they, got they, to they sit on the porch <laughs> and they report about everything that they saw and heard and all that kind of shit so they uh, then uh, the golden girl she was the last uh, she's the second to last one Janice Scudger um, Miss Ruth Hall. Oh, shit. Uh, and Miss Mills. <laughs> oh, well, well, well. Oh, they were they shit. they were the Golden Girls. Did now, you know that? I didn't know that, but really? I'm now when you say that, I'm trying to figure out who is <laughs> who. who. <laughs> I think I know who Blanche is, though. Who do you think Bill Ed Blanche is? The most feisty out of them was probably Miss <laughs> Ruth. <Yep. laughs> Miss Ruth probably talked some shit. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah I, who was Miss Mills? I, I don't know. She I, was I, probably... I, I, uh, I'm the thinking grandmother. that she was probably, uh, yeah, Do- uh, uh, not Dorothy. Dorothy was Janice. Yeah. I think my mom was Rose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Shit. I, but I'll take it, though, because Rose, in her goofiness, was probably the smartest one out of all of them. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so th- that happened. And, of course, we also had the loss of Sherry yeah. Holt, who yeah. was like a good friend to Imperial Inc. Especially to to Jarrell. she 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 used to put in work for us for nothing. Yeah, I mean she would do a lot of things for us that people she, were unaware yeah. she did. Yeah, she did. She was uh she was there since the f- very the fucking very beginning. beginning. Yeah, she's the reason why we got a website. She's the yep. reason why we might even have this fucking podcast in some long strange she, way. Yeah. You know, I'm sure she's interconnected uh, somewhere. She kept me straight. She didn't. 
She about got me kicked out a couple places. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably you. Well, no, she about got us kicked out of the uh, the Tusculum Theater because some kids was outside complaining. And you remember she went off. Oh yeah, yeah. I forgot all about told that. Told them kids off. You yeah, know what I'm saying? yeah, yeah. She almost got us booted. <laughs> yeah, but, but that's the kind of person she is. She stood up for yeah for that's her true. shit, you know. And I'm going to miss her, man. Yeah, she was a beautiful lady. I we really we even lost everything she did. We lost. I feel like Benny Joe was a uh, Benny was, Joe Anderson was a big. Uh, uh, he was a big person community. Yeah, in the community as well yeah. and it's just crazy that he, he all these people were losing he used to take the kids up to the school and teach them how to hit softballs and yeah. baseballs and shit and we, yeah. I mean we didn't have no nobody else to teach us he'd right. hit them we'd chase them down then he'd let us back you know what I mean right, and right. then I mean then we're some people that you, you know like your mom for example mm-hmm. like you just look at her and you just think they're going to be here forever yeah it was yeah. just something about her that you know i i felt inspiration in her because of you know the age that she was mm-hmm. and the way she still got around and yeah. she still was always doing you something know. she used to get mad at me because i could i wouldn't come to see her when she was still living here at home and uh I would always come to see her, but she would never be home. Uh-huh. <laughs> she was right. always out in the streets. Uh-huh. And I would tell her that. And she, she'd call me and get so mad. Well, hi, stranger. You know, I'm like, Ma, I was just there today. <laughs> and you weren't home. I was like, it happened. It happened so many times. And your mom was my so, mom because how how many years was we back there in that bedroom? Yeah, how many times I walked through his living and room, shit. and I bet she was like, "Here come that nigga again." <laughs> 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 but, you know, so, she never stopped us. She let nah. us back there and make our noise. Yeah, you know? she she appreciated my little bit of talent, so she she would always encourage it. So I had to. Uh, just wanted to put it out there that we, we we love these people and we miss them, and just wanted to throw it out there for everybody to know what's been going on yeah. uh, in our com- immediate community. But with that being said, we'll talk about some other stuff as well. Uh, is there anything you wanted to throw out there? I got a few things, but the year's some fucking of sucked stuff. already. Why? Uh, <laughs> January, January has felt <laughs> well, it's like it's February it. now, but what? Well, January felt like a whole motherfucking year. I mean, I don't know what it was. I guess the <laughs> The after Christmas uh-huh. into the new year, everybody got big plans and what the fuck they uh-huh. gonna start their life. Uh-huh. I went into the new year like, man, same old bullshit. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't make no resolutions. I've never I, made resolutions because they don't work. I just, you know, them shits don't work. So I don't do resolutions. There's some personal goals I plan on getting you know my dialysis situation uh-huh. uh, under control this year we're okay. going hard at that and mm-hmm. plan on getting back into my music and you know yeah i got some shit to cook up with you too uh, um, yeah. and, I, and I i'm getting ready to run off some beats that i'm gonna need you, you to cook. lace and sh- shut up you don't tell me what to do or what i don't do you just put something in the microwave <laughs> 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 but anyway it'll be seasoned though, so. <laughs> but yeah i mean it's, it's just things that, that like i'd like to get back to yeah um you know get my health right but um that's about it. But, you know, people are tripping going into the new year. Man. No, what are you talking about? Well, uh, some examples. Uh, the beef in between rappers. And, yeah, I'm not sure I understand what the hell is going uh, on between them two. Anyway, I've kind of looked into it, but not a lot. Talking about, you're else. talking about Nicki and Megan, right? Yeah, that's just Yeah, crazy. Nicki Minaj and Megan Stallion. They talk about. Each other's family and shit. I did see what Nikki mothers, said. Yeah, where well, she said, shit. "Conjure up your dead mom" or some shit like that. I'm like, uh, <laughs> she called that bitch big for it. Yeah, for getting shot in the face. Told her, need another hit. Get on your good foot. <laughs> I hate to say that was clever, but it was. But at the same time, why you got to bring in somebody's mom, especially yeah. her not being around? You know what I mean? Well, I'm like this, Nikki. You look like you're spiraling because, bitch, you was on uh, line for like 72 hours straight 
about Megan. I, I feel it like it shouldn't even been that big of a deal. I've Keep seen that so shit many, on wax. I've seen so many little situations where Nikki has tried to manipulate these new female rappers. Like she had a phone call with with Lotto, and, yeah, and and all of this shit, and they released that. But it sounds like Nikki's a fucking bully, and she, yeah, and she's trying to keep herself on top of the totem pole, so she she starts all this trouble, like. She didn't give Cardi B a chance. I mean, hell, she don't get along with nobody. She couldn't no. even get along with Mariah Carey at a damn judge a show. A judge show, like, American Idol. They say, <laughs> they talk about how she be snorting that coke, but I don't know that to be true. Yeah, but that's I alleged. wonder. That's alleged. I wonder. But yeah, and I, my whole thing with her is stop being a bully. You already did a lot for the community you are for, yeah. especially for the hip hop community and female MCs. you you the top selling bitch that's right. you know you that you that bitch so stop fucking with everybody <laughs> you don't gotta prove nothing to nobody else you know right. she keeps just i mean she aim at everybody yeah i mean and i get it if it's gonna be like a competition type thing you know what i mean well like, it is to her because her number because she sees these girls as number one and cardi b and them number one in the world and they selling just as many records mm-hmm. And actually, her last couple records hadn't did box. Uh, I mean, she got a new record out right now, and you yeah. don't even really know because there's been no promotion for it, right? You know what I'm saying? So, right. which uh, is kind of like an ebb and flow thing with a uh, current artists and pop, anyway, because they'll 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 be on top for a few times, two three albums worth, and then that fourth fifth album, it a it a it a retract. I mean, Justin Timberlake's doing the same thing. He had a good run with three oh. hot albums the fourth one he came out with was just mediocre at best eminem so what 10 million on one album something yeah. something crazy yeah he'll never sell that again in his life no matter how much he tries i, I mean Probably I, just, not. I don't see it happening i mean he was the hottest in his life at that moment right and that's basically uh that's usually how it goes. It's an ebb and flow when it comes to music and, and the fickleness of fans. Because, you know what I mean? Because, like, fans will love you and love you and love you until they're tired of you. And then they don't love yeah, you Yeah, 50 Cent sold, like, six, seven million. Yeah, and he's not going to do that no more. Never. <laughs> he, he, right now, he's probably struggling to sell 600000 Right, which is why he's got all his money tied up in other companies, yeah. which is the smartest thing you can do as a... As an artist who is on top for a minute, you know, right. So um, keep that shit going in different yeah. directions. I mean, Jay Z, his album what was a four forty four. Yeah, that album didn't do nothing. It, it, it probably still went platinum. It, I'm sure it did, but, but it, it didn't used do the to numbers. Go triple platinum. Right, it wasn't yeah. doing the numbers that he normally does. Plus, that was more of an artsy, oh, an artsy shit. party kind of album. Anyway, it was one of them albums that was uh, but yeah, personal. People very, want very personal. people want the new. They want the new, and they they ain't pretty much paying for. Yeah. They they want rappers. They don't want MCs. Well, you know that's what uh, hip hop is now on the radio. Uh, it's more rap because uh, your boy Alfie sent me this little link to this dude explaining the difference between rappers and MCs. And I hate to admit it, but he had a point. He was like, there are rappers who are in it for the money. Then there's MCs who are in it for the culture. Uh, you know, and it was a very good point. I mean, that's that's common sense. It's, I mean, I. It is, but it's hard to see that they're the line. You that, know what I mean? Because there's not there's not many who are in it for the culture that are making the numbers and money that uh, the rappers. But make. I believe us people in the culture believe if you protect the culture, you you preserve the culture, mm-hmm. and make music that lasts, it will automatically make the money. Right. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think when Dr. Dre released The Chronic, he uh-huh. said to myself, said himself, this is going to be a radio smash. <laughs> <laughs> he probably said to himself, I don't give a fuck if they play this on radio. Yeah. They probably ain't going to get no radio play. Yeah. We're going to put this shit out and shake the nation up anyway. Right. You know what I mean? Right. So that's that's, you know. Mike didn't make music necessarily on what was Mike just knew whatever I breathe on. Who? Michael Jackson? Yeah. Okay. You know, whatever I breathe on is gonna fucking go platinum. <laughs> he got a song with Snoop. 
Do you know that? Uh, well, it doesn't surprise me. They say he's got songs in the tuck with rappers that they never released. Yeah, and that's one of them. Snoop was talking about it because they, they became good friends. Mm-hmm. And uh, He said Mike got mad at him for blowing, blowing that, that smoke. <laughs> <laughs> Which does not surprise me because Snoop is going to blow some smoke. But yeah, I just, ugh, this year it's creepy. It, it's, it, feels, it feels like, I don't know, it just feels off for me. Mm-hmm. It feels like somewhere down the line, something crazy is going to happen this right. year. You think? I don't know. It might be another boat incident or some shit take a place. Boat incident? Or they beat them motherfuckers up oh. on that boat. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I just, I feel like this is <laughs> thick up in the air. That shit is It funny. was some other shit that happened so far this year. I can't really think right now. Really? Um, but like it just seemed. I asked you, had you seen the Griselda movie? No, I haven't seen Griselda. Yet. Or not movie, the the, the mini series because it's like eight episodes. That shit was so good, and I'm going to watch it because yeah. I love her. But you won't recognize her. Right, she looks a little crazy. I've seen previews. Yeah, she looks a mess, but she played the shit out that role though. I had seen a documentary about it too. Plus, I kind of remember. Oh, I ain't even seen that show, but I seen some shit today on Facebook that said they didn't tell the whole story, and there she was sitting there hugged up with a nigga. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, she might have been. I, I mean, might I need to catch the, the underground version. <laughs> <laughs> the, the the show was good though because, and I had watched the interview with Sofia Vergara, who played her. Uh, that would be Griselda Blanco. I kiss her mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you would, but she was talking about how uh, Griselda got away with it for so long because she was a woman. Mm-hmm. Which is fascinating because it is that type well, of I thought about world that is a male dominated world. I thought about that today. I what did like, you think? Because I seen that picture of her with that nigga, and she didn't. <laughs> she looked kind of basic. She didn't look like. No, she's not a beautiful woman. She didn't look like she would draw a lot of attention. So I was mm-hmm. like, I bet that she did fly under the radar for yeah. being a woman for a very long time. Yeah, and what tripped me out about the 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 whole show was the it's a trope because it it follows exactly what happens when people who are in that type of business Uh what happens the more they get because she kept getting greedier and greedier Uh (laughs) then on top of that she started getting more and more paranoid then on top of that she became a crackhead so (laughs) she had all this shit going on and she did exactly what a lot of deep deep end drug dealers do and they start to turn on their own. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? And she did do that. And it was just, it was crazy to watch her do that. You know? Uh-huh. And I'll have to check it out. It's really good. It's a good, it's a good show. You know, I'm, I'm, I have my own mafia, so <laughs> I, I just have to see what's going on with them. Okay. So we can see if we got to do what they do. <laughs> nah, you ain't got to do what she know. She did some fucked up shit. Well, she she obviously was, she had was, a lot of money. She was like she, the biggest. Yeah, <laughs> she was right up until it got tied up and gone, mm-hmm. you know, and then she ended up going to jail. What really struck me, though, was she doomed her own kids. That's what tripped right. me out more so than anything. Now, I'm not going to put everything out there, but she just really fucked everybody up. <laughs> Killing folks that was closest to her. What did they call her? The mother of death? Or, or something? something like that. Yeah. And she, uh, uh, well, her youngest son, I think, is now suing Netflix and Sofia Vergara. I think. I'm not sure what for. But I had heard that the youngest son is actually suing. Well, parents, I mean, somebody's always suing. When you're yeah, that's them. what I said. But, you know. I'm sure Dahmer's parents are trying to get somebody. <laughs> I, have, did you watch Dahmer? I loved it. I didn't see it. I haven't seen oh it Oh, my yet. God. You know, the reason why I didn't see it is because I feel like that family keeps reliving that shit every year. And in the family of man. the pictures, that is. And that makes me feel bad. I so, understand that. And it I, makes me and, feel and bad they were to mad. watch it. And some of the victims were mad. Yeah. The, the, or, or, that they I said some that. of them, but only really one of them survived. Right. But the fam- they are mad. But I'll just say, uh, <laughs> I've watched a lot of TV in a in a, in a few years, in a few year period. Like, probably, I, I give it. I'll give it a six year period. I don't think anything shocked me like that. 
And that's why like, I, uh, dominant. That's why I oh, say okay. everybody watch it. Just just how graphic and how detailed it is. Um, you know, the motherfucker that plays Dahmer, if I see him tomorrow, I'm going to call that nigga Dahmer. Right? He's Dahmer to me. I don't he, even know I, his real name. Dahmer. Oh, shit, if you had to ask Hey, yo, Dahmer. Him, I, I'll tell you his real name because he's on American Horror Story. That's how I knew him is he's been on there several for several yeah. seasons. He's, and he's a beast he's of an spooky actor. Looking. Yeah, yeah he's, he's a really good actor. He played in one uh, season of American Horror Story, he played like three or four different killers. And I need you to watch it for the specific reason that Dahmer's, most of Dahmer's prey was... Black gay men. Yes. Yeah. And Evan it, Peters, that's his name. And there's, there's especially one specific gay man on there. It just breaks your heart because all he wanted to do was love him. Mm-hmm. You know, you, yeah. you just, you got to. But I, he was, ended up being lunch. It, but then you <laughs> you kind of feel, you kind of feel, you, you kind of, I don't think Dahmer's uh, whole ordeal was eating him. I think he tried to eat him in a sense to try to get rid of their body really uh he would pick select I, parts like he'd have a kidney sitting in the refrigerator like i'm gonna fry this motherfucker tomorrow all right but uh <laughs> at so the same nasty. time uh, <laughs> well, so I, I don't know it because he had those big ass tubs in his thing but the thing about Dahmer was is if you know I, I, I thought he was consuming them because he wanted them to be part of him and he believed that in that? that and i believe he believed in that too i didn't because like I, didn't, I said i don't really know because i hadn't watched it so i'm not sure exactly what you know what i believe that had he had some weird some, like beliefs he was yeah. thinking that he could make people out of parts and shit like yeah, a frankenstein uh, well type i forget thing? not not really frankenstein but i believe he thought that he could put uh he was trying to build something out of people. I don't know oh, what wow. the fuck. But anyway. That's wild as shit. You feel sorry for him in a sense because everybody Dahmer ever killed was just because they were leaving. He just didn't oh, yeah, want because nobody he would leave to him. leave they were him. Leaving him. Okay. Yeah, you know, so that meant that he had some serious attachment issues. <laughs> yeah, you <laughs> but, think? Uh, yeah, but... uh how many of those documentaries have you seen? Because you're a big documentary buff. I've probably seen almost everything on Dahmer. Oh, really? Have you watched? Uh, you watched the documentaries on a lot of the different serial killers and yes. drug dealers and all that shit, right? Ted Bundy, all yeah. the niggas. All right. Do you ever do the music uh, documentaries? Have so, you done them? Yeah, I watched Tom Petty documentary the other day. I didn't know about Tom Petty like that, uh-huh. but it was good to know. Have you watched the one about uh, Queen, the actual documentary, not the movie? I don't think I've seen. I can't remember what it's called, but there's one where they talk about the recording of their the their classic Bohemian Rhapsody album, mm. uh, which was a uh, Night at the Races, I think is what it was called, and that shit is phenomenal. Really? Yeah, to see the work he, they put into uh, the production of that fucking album is is incredible, mm. and especially back in that time, the shit they was doing was unheard of. I watch most music. I like I watch the Eric Clapton shit. Oh, for real? Yeah. Eric Clapton was a racist for a minute. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know? And they said he's still a bit of an asshole yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> Even nowadays. But you know, that's uh, neither near here nor there. We'll figure out what else we're gonna talk about. <laughs> I check it out. I, I, I'm always into that shit. What about uh the current Grammy situation? Are you Intrigued at all about the show or who's performing or who got nominated or any of that? Not really one bit. <laughs> I am not surprised because I know you don't do that kind of shit. I know. Uh, I seen somebody happy they were nominated. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm trying to find a whole list of them yeah. to see who I was nominated for what and all that. I don't give a fuck around that. <laughs> Are you going to watch it at all? Probably not. Probably not. That's. Funny. I mean, I might. I like the performances at the Grammys because you might get, you might get uh, Adele with Paul McCartney and right and her. Yeah, it's you know the way they like mix people shit, up and shit. Yeah. And some of the performances are really good, like the one that Justin did with um, uh, what's his name? Tennessee Whiskey. Uh, J- Stapleton. Yeah, Chris Stapleton, mm-hmm. the one he did with him, that was sick. 
You know, that was that was crazy. Yeah, I like that kind of shit. I do too. I do like the performances, so I am going to watch for that. Um, speaking of Justin, he just came out with a new song called uh, "Selfish," which is really, really, really. I haven't good. heard of it. It's dope. It's it's, a, it's the production on that shit is crazy. Just the shit he. It, it, it's crazy because it's a really, really simple, simplified song. It's uh-huh. not a lot to it, but the way they did some of the vocal shit is fucking amazing. Well, we're supposed to have a heavy slate this year of uh, releases. Okay, <coughs> who else yeah. is coming out? Jay Z coming out this year. Yeah, Jay coming out this year supposedly. Uh, uh, Rihanna supposedly coming. Yeah. Uh, uh, I seen a list. Uh, I know Rhapsody's coming first album in four years. Oh, for real? Yeah. Oh, that'd um, be crazy. Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, That's your baby. Uh, uh, yes, my honey boo boo. <laughs> 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 uh, let's see. Somebody else is coming. I think Drake plans. I think I'm seeing Drake. Oh, Drake I, needs to take. It a break. might not be Drake. I, I okay. think Kenny. Kenny Kung Fu Kenny is supposed to have. Who the hell is Kung Fu Kenny? You don't know who the fuck Kung Fu Kenny Kung is. Kung Fu Kenny. No Kung Fu Kenny. <laughs> no. I hope you're praying for me. <laughs> uh, you ain't listened to the last Kendrick album, obviously. The, uh, the la- oh, uh, what's what's the name of it? That long ass title. Yeah, I've listened to it. I just was. It was great. It was typical Kendrick, but it wasn't one that made me want to like play it over and over. Well, you know it wasn't I mean? even that one. It was the one before that. Uh, uh, damn? Was, yeah. Probably damn. Yeah. Did he say that in it? Yeah. He had those. Uh, he had Kid Capri on that right before uh, that. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a. I don't give a. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> that was damn? Give, I'm willing to die for this shit. I don't know if that's damn. It's, I, I think don't think that's damn. damn. Or it might be to pimp a butterfly. And I think it was to pimp a butterfly because I don't think that was damn. I listen to damn but back I mean, and forth just, like crazy. But the last album is good. I but believe I wasn't it crazy is bad. You sure? I have I'm to see. I'm about to go pull it back out and check out. Because I don't remember anyway, that bit on there. But, uh, it's yeah. Kung Fu Kenny. It's supposed to have that album. Kung Fu Kenny. Yeah, I do remember that now that you mention it. <laughs> I forgot all about it, though. But I do remember it. What about um, uh, the Super Bowl? Are you are you going to watch? I'm or, going to definitely watch because because you're a, fa- a football fan. I like so football. Are you watch? Yeah, I'm a football fan, but I hate both of them motherfucking teams. Oh, uh, for real? So you don't care who wins? I, I hope Kansas City loses. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and people are like, well. They're in the AFC with your team. Why don't you root for the AFC? I'm like, fuck Kansas City. I'll never root for them. And why? Because Patty Mahomes is suspect. Suspect of what? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's is nigga, that Kelsey's he, team? He's nigga light. Yeah, that's, that's Kelsey's team. And, and, and in, in a sense, though, in a sense, I think that the whole Taylor Swift shit has made me hate him even more. Really? Why? I don't give a fuck. I mean, I don't sit here and be like, ah, well, I don't want to see Taylor Swift every time we flip the check. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't get into that. I People just, are tripping over that, too. I look at but I mean, I I am just. I mean, but but looking at it like the fact that she's bought in millions of dollars. Three point one million yeah, more revenue. Yeah, simply City. because she's there. You know what I mean? Is saying something. You it know? is, and I think it's amazing that w- little girls are watching it and and being yeah, amazed with like it football. with their dads. You know, I think yeah. that's pretty cool. And the NFL's like, hell yeah, keep it going. Bring that money. That's why every time, <laughs> every time that nigga catch a pass, shoot a <laughs> picture up there, yeah, put, put her, put a camera and, on Taylor. And I think that's what gets on people's fucking nerves. They yeah. know that's happening. Yeah, it gets on my nerves too. Well, you know, it's starting to get on Republicans' nerves too. Have you heard about that? No. Yes, there are Republican people who are triggered by the whole Taylor Swift situation at football games. It's a whole thing. Because she's <laughs> what a Democrat. I, I, yeah, and they're afraid that whoever she draws in is going to be the ones voting for the Democrats as opposed to the Republicans. That's what it boils down to. America is just fucked, fucked up. up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we just but about. Every fucking yeah, thing, mad man. about Taylor Swift at a football game. I get you know 
play people who watch the game are a little annoyed. I understand that. I mean, that shit, we worried about that shit affecting fucking voting. Right. <laughs> like, <laughs> I mean. That don't make any oh. fucking sense. It's crazy. Is the me. price of fame, is that, is, uh, is it worth it? I, I don't know. I'm I'm kind of glad I didn't have to live like that. <laughs> I mean, and but I, I didn't get and, that, and I strive like for that. that. So, or not really strive for that level, but I I want to be in a comfortable level, right? That, that, well, yeah, but, but well, the thing about it, it was like you said, you got to sacrifice just about everything just to get to that level, right? Right. But are we? I mean, uh, I, uh, is it? <laughs> you, can't go, you can't go to the motherfucking store. No, you, you get gas. They no, get, you gotta. I don't know if I. I'm a private person, and mm. I think that I always wanted that. And then I got to a point where I was like, Nah, I don't think I want that. Especially but, if you see what people have to yeah. deal with, you know. No, nah, because because I'm just too private. Nigga. It, it, I, <laughs> if I want to raise my window up while I'm shitting in my bathroom. <laughs> I won't raise my window. You don't want no camera creeping yeah. in, in while, while you're you looking, there. watching me shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's nasty. The only one will see you shit. I might pick my nose one day when no, ain't nobody see that looking, either. and y'all got me on camera. No, I will see that either. Y'all should have been looking. <laughs> <laughs> pick my nose in private. <laughs> that shit's funny. Yeah. That's like that whole uh, you was. We're talking about the whole fame situation. That's what's going on with Britney Spears and Justin Timberlake, too. Because when she put that book out last year Mm -hmm. that told whatever all it told, um, when his new single came out last week, she actually went on and said she apologized for anybody she offended or hurt or whatever with the book that she put out. And then she even complimented him on that uh song you know i love the song so it's, it sounds amazing but then he was at a show i think it was last night in new york or somewhere and he was getting ready to sing cry me a river now everybody knows that song was supposed right. to be about Brittany. Mm. supposedly she cheated on him whatever he gets up there and says i want to take this time to apologize for absolutely fucking nothing <laughs> i was like what is wrong with it <laughs> you just came off of apologizing for the shit you did with Britney, then the shit you did with Janet. It came back around and bit you in the ass again when your uh when her book came out. And then you gonna like just throw that out there on top of what is wrong with people? Well, I just kinda feel like uh <laughs> if I'm Justin, I would have never entertained any of that in the situation because I would have felt like I'm bigger than Britney Britney. Uh-huh. And uh my upside's still pretty high. <laughs> well, you like, wouldn't, you wouldn't yeah, I wouldn't that. even entertain their book when they started talking about her book or asking questions. I mm-hmm. mean, I wouldn't be getting in a a battle with, of words with a girl that I probably dated when we was teenagers Yeah, that wrote a book that may have some true shit, may not have some true shit. Mm-hmm. I'd have let her have that motherfucking cake. Just go play with them knives. And I'm gonna go get this money. <laughs> like it's, I, I just wouldn't even, it wouldn't even, it wouldn't even be a thought about it. I, I keep on singing "Cry Me a River," uh, like it, like it came out yesterday. Yeah, you should play with them now. <laughs> but I wouldn't motherfucker. I don't think I. I, don't, I wouldn't even. Enter. <laughs> Which makes me think he's still bitter in some kind of way. Somewhere. That's what it sounds like. And I'm like, y'all all need to grow up and let go of that shit. This is like Nikki, you know. Yeah. She up there bullying motherfuckers too. So it's all all of that is to me is relative and they just need to try grow to stay up relevant. and let that Yeah, just stop doing that. Just do what you do. Music. Do you moving. have any predictions this year? Like is there anything you predict would possibly happen this year that this you year? Believe? Um I think Trump will probably win. <laughs> really? I do. I do. I, well, I, I ain't going to say I think he'll win. I think he'll be up there right teetering to win, uh, especially if they don't. Well, convict. we already knew that. Yeah, but especially if they don't convict him of anything. And These I honestly have don't. tried everything. And I was going to say, I honestly running. don't think that they are going to convict, convict him on anything. Mm. No, although he did just have to pay that woman that he defamed. You, you hear about that? $83.3 million. Oh. It started at like $3 million, but he kept talking shit. <laughs> and the judge said, okay, 
and he ended up having to pay eighty three million. Oh, oh, and she decided that she was going to take that money and give it to a charity that he hated, <laughs> which was brilliant. I think I thought that was pretty smart. So if if they can keep that ball rolling, you know, he might not have a chance right. to actually get in office. But right now. That motherfucker's ruling. Now, granted, I don't believe in polls because they, they're not polling everybody. They're polling who they want to poll. So when they come up with these results saying so many percentages of this is that, they're asking only a certain amount of people. Now, the polls that they are giving for him, he's dominating. Just straight up, he is dominating. Some folks don't want to see Trump. Some folks don't want to see Biden because of his age. I was about to say, Biden's out this motherfucker. I mean, I, (laughs) hey, you know, it was cool the way you snuck up in there and got you four in. But, (laughs) nigga, I got a feeling you go, if it ain't Trump, it won't be Biden. (laughs) But there's nobody else running. That's the thing. It's just going to be them, too. Oh, well, this shit. If they. Democratic or the that Democrat. nigga fell the other day. <laughs> <laughs> if the Democrats could actually uh, have a better candidate, then they might have a chance, but they have yet to put anybody up. Um, just like the Republicans, Damn. the only one they got right now is Nikki. That's a rock Nikki. run. I vote for that. <laughs> the only one they got right now is Nikki Haley. And that bitch just be flip flopping all over the place, and and she doesn't want to admit things like what the Civil War was over. She doesn't want to admit what um, she said that the whole um, what is it they keep saying Obama was responsible for the whole uh, separation of everybody or the division oh. of everybody started with the Obama president president uh, presidency. And that is so fucking annoying to me because black people have said for years that we are divided. Yeah. <laughs> had nothing to do with Obama. Yeah, but I think it was a different kind of separation when Obama. No, well, it him. was a different not, kind of separation it, in the fact that they were okay with it. Because them motherfuckers refused to work with his nigga ass under any circumstances. <laughs> I mean, if, they, if he had a good idea, they came up with one reason why it was a bad idea. They didn't want to work with that nigga. No. Racist. It, 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 Basically. Yeah, and so, my thing, and I was telling everybody, it's like it wasn't about Obama. That that band aid was ripped off when Trump got in office. But you know, I'm gonna try to keep it out of politics because I don't like to cover that. But yeah. uh, more predictions. Um, let me think. Uh, I don't know. What do, do you got? Any predictions got at one. all? What's yours? P Diddy going to jail this shit. <laughs> Diddy going to jail this shit. Do you think uh, that whole T.D. Jakes thing was true? I don't know, man. Swallowed. <laughs> I, what, what, you didn't I, see that? No. I had to find it for you. There's a there was a sermon that T.D. T. D. What's his name? T.D. T. T. Jakes. Jakes did. And uh, it's it's so funny because he says something. Have you ever been swallowed? I was like, what the fuck is he talking about? <laughs> I had to find it. Let you check it yeah, out. I just know that he was They said he was a power bottom. He was supposed to be a <laughs> <laughs> Would you like for me to explain a power what a bottom? power bottom is? A power bottom. Yeah. yeah I could, you want to know? Power. Let me see. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing he's on the bottom. Yeah, but there's more to it than just being he on the bottom. He likes to get Yeah, he likes to get it. Powerful. Yes. And can take it repeatedly over and over and over. That's a power bottle. Oh. So they said that's what he was. So. <laughs> so I don't know Diddy was. Niggas was having bukkakis in his ass. Let's have bukkakis on motherfuckers. <laughs> I don't know how true it is, or if he said he wasn't going to entertain it because it was a lie, which is fine. You know, he can say it if he wants. But uh, nigga, you know. where there's smoke, nigga. <laughs> like I said, that certain one he was talking about being swallowed. That's you got to you got to hear that shit. Yeah, it was crazy. Well, so you know, they they gonna find a way to put this black ass in jail. This shit. <laughs> Probably, and, and I hate to say this too, but you remember when Jaguar Wright was talking about yeah. him years back. 
And then she mentioned something about everybody associated with Diddy was dead, and that's true. You yeah. know, I, now granted, I, she looked a damn fool. I'll be the, way the first she was person off, to say that I <laughs> thought that bitch had lost her mind. her damn mind. I said the same thing, and now I'm sort of like wonder. Well, maybe she well, was right. <laughs> my my thing about it though is it's a, it's all in presentation. If she didn't come off like she was crazy. Maybe it would have been believable. Uh, Looked like she just came from the crib smoking a rock. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and she said she didn't look crazy. But what she was saying is kind of partially if true. She's telling you know? the truth. <laughs> I mean, like, because Andre Harrell, gone. Heavy D, gone. Uh, there's a, Who else was involved? Um, somebody else in their crew that all started together about the same time, all dead. So it's it's just. It's crazy. It's a crazy coincidence. Maybe that's all it is. But she's the one who was calling it out. And now everybody talking about the stuff that he supposedly allegedly did is insane. Well, I mean, they trying to figure out what happened to that. He's about to go to jail. All them charges were, you know, Puffy took that motherfucker a million to kill Pac. But nothing happened. Mm. But they know that that nigga at least tried to pay that money. To get him killed, I don't, and I don't understand what was his reasoning behind getting that done, trying to get that accomplished. What was his reason? I behind? mean, it's just because I've not watched any of the conspiracy theories or the documentaries. Well, I mean, you know, the beef was just so crazy. Like, and it I sounds mean, like it was just stupid. Hell, but Death Row was doing shit. Like one of them, uh, one of them workers that for was worked for Bad Boy had came out to L.A. and went to a party, mm-hmm. and Death Row was there. Mm-hmm. They beat that nigga up and made him drink piss and everything else. And wow. give, they they were demanding Puffy's address, his home address. Oh shit! Yeah, you know. So I mean, it it got wild out there. Which is insane. Plus, there was Bloods and Crips involved because right. Puffy would hire the Crips, mm-hmm. and you know Death Row was Bloods. So. Right. I, mean, they? I thought they were Crips. No, they was red. Was it? Nigga, blood. Then what was Snoop? He was Crip. He's a Crip, right? Yeah. Okay, I did have that right. Okay. Yeah. Wow, that shit's crazy. That whole situation to me was just insane. Yeah. It's just in fucking insane. <laughs> Makes no sense. Yeah, but you know. You got any other predictions? Any other predictions? Uh, uh, you said Puffy going to jail. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't have any predictions at all. That was a good question because I hadn't thought about it. I do, though, however, have a new segment that I want to throw at you and see if you would be interested in in doing. It's it's going to be called What's in Your Life. It's inspired by James Corden. Um, he has a show where he asks uh, people a place, a person, a possession, a piece of music, and a memory. And I kind of want to do the same thing and just spread it out over a few episodes. Um, and it's all about things that mean something to you. Okay. So, like, the first one for me, I'll start it out since I just kind of sprung this on you. I'll start it out um, a place that means something, <clears throat> excuse me, to you, uh, something special. Mine would probably be, and this will sound, this will sound uh, probably morbid, but it, it it's not for me and my family. It would be where my mom and dad are buried. And the reason why. It's because when my dad first passed away and was buried out there for the first couple of years, uh, my nephew was struggling with it because he was so close to his papa. So we decided, I decided, look, y'all, we're going to do this every year until we, you know, we start feeling a little bit better. Uh We would go out there and we would have picnics. It would be me, my brother, my sister, my nephew, my uh, Tim. It would be uh, my cousin, Anita. It would be a lot of us. We would just go. And literally spread out at my dad's grave. My mama, we all would go out there and just eat, you know, and hang out. And it was cool. We did it for like three or four years in a row. And it kind of brought some kind of closure and to the whole family. It made everybody feel a lot better. So that place means something to me. So I'm going to probably do that with my mom as well. Just to, you know, kind of not necessarily let her know, but let us all know that it's okay to be okay yeah you know what i mean yeah. does that make sense whatever whatever yeah whatever you know? it takes to 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 make people not necessarily feel better but feel a way that they can live with it in an easier kind of way you know on the other hand i'm upset with myself because i hadn't been out there 
mm-hmm. in a very long time. Right. And um, I used to take and change the flowers. Mm-hmm. You know, um, it's just hard mm-hmm. for me to go. Right. Um, you know, but I feel like I, me and my mom, my mom's very well, and my dad is very much in me and around right. me. So, right. you know, visiting them at the grave where their body lays, you know, I, I try to not be so hard on myself. And I don't think you, you should know, be. But, um, um, a lot of people hold a lot of stock into the graveyards, yeah. and it's not really a place for the living. Right. You know what I mean? Right. But it, plus, it's the memories and stuff that you got to keep, especially when you're going through them tough ass times where they pop up for no mm. reason. Like my sister the other day said, I need to go ask Joy and something. And then she remembers that she can't. Yeah. My nephew, I need to go. My, my grandmother is usually calling me right now to get her something to eat. He's, right. he, po- he posted that. And he said, but now it's not going to happen. I was right. like, so you got to keep the good stuff up front. When those moments yeah. come in, I hate to get deep on y'all, but this is what we've been dealing with the last few months. A lot of us. So, you know, we try to keep things positive as possible, especially with this podcast. We're going to try to keep y'all's heads and, up. And, and I also all say, that good shit. and I also say that I went a long time, mm-hmm. you know, feeling bad. Like I didn't honor her enough by going out there or, you know, um, for me, I call them terrorist attacks. Like, you could just be sitting here, <laughs> and then all of a sudden a thought will pop in your head, and yeah. you're like, damn, you know yeah. what I mean? And it takes you to that place. Yeah. And some days you're fighting to stay above water, and you don't, and sometimes going to those places take you back down. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah. you know, my thing is, is what I'm trying to say ultimately is you supposed to handle that however best you can. Mm-hmm. Don't let nobody tell you how to mourn. Right. Don't tell, let nobody tell you how long you should mourn. Yeah. I mean, don't feel like no sissy for crying or nothing right, like that. Right, right. Like, I learned that, you know, you going to handle it how you handle it. Yeah. And whenever know? that shit happens, it just happens. You let it happen. Right. Take it in and, and let it go where it, it needs get, to it'll go. it'll get worse. Oh, yeah. It's, it'll get worse way before it gets You'll be like me trying to hold it in, and then all of a sudden I just say, <laughs> nigga, get your head out my pocket. <laughs> you be like, what? It's, yeah, dude, <laughs> it's true. You be popping off with some wild ass shit every now and then. <laughs> yeah, right. And, uh, I do want to like kind of end this episode on a new uh, noun. So I guess it may be a be a vernacular factor. But it's, you said the fuck. We just went through every segment we had and tied them all together. Used to used to have little breaks and little music in between. Well, we actually, I, I I can I can do that with this. No, I, we don't have to. No, but, but I know saying. how to I know how to edit. Yeah, shit. we'll I'm do good whatever the fuck you do. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this new noun that I came up. Oh, I didn't come up with it. I heard it and I was like, "What the hell is that?" It's called. A rainbow kiss. Uh-uh. <laughs> I can <only> imagine. <laughs> and usually when when I come up with shit or, or I find these things or we're talking about them, it's usually come from the gay side of of, oh, of no. sexuality. This one is not. <laughs> this is strictly you straight folks. I didn't come up with this shit. I don't know who did. But it is a thing. It is called a rainbow kiss. Now, A rainbow kiss Uh. (laughs) is a sex act in which a man and a woman who is menstruating simultaneously perform oral sex on each other, followed by a kiss where the couple mix semen and period blood in their mouths. Nigga, you got silent <laughs> little motherfucker. Cause I didn't know what to say. Hey, nigga, I, if you, if, I did the same thing <laughs> when I heard that shit. I was like, that is by far the nastiest shit I've ever heard in my life. 
I kill you. Yeah, you <laughs> killing me? I'm talking I didn't, about a girl. Right. <laughs> <laughs> if you even look at me like we supposed to do is. First of all, you better not be bleeding nowhere near me. <laughs> you, lost your fucking mind. you don't like set ketchup? Nigga. <laughs> don't ever call it that again. I won't eat ketchup. No <laughs> so, yeah, I guess we'll end on that. <laughs> that has been episode one, season oh, I guess three. It's just uh, gonna get <laughs> fucking foul this year. It's gonna be foul, uh, yeah, unfiltered, I, uncut. I think I'm gonna come up with some more nouns, <laughs> nigga. I <ain't> <laughs> Yeah, just just to teach you some shit. I did, and I liked mine. <laughs> I liked what? saying them. It's, <laughs> it didn't feel so bad to you sitting over there going, Look, "Ooh, I now did, I gotta sit over hey, here and go." Like Ooh. I said, this come from the straight side of town. <laughs> I didn't have nothing to do with this. I just wanted to throw it at you because I don't y'all... think, as I was telling you, I was getting a mental picture. <laughs> <laughs> as I'm listening, you get a mental picture. I don't understand. Why you're so bugged out? I mean, it came from your fu- your family. <laughs> huh? It came from the straits. <laughs> oh. well, I was about to, get, I I'm about to throw a punch. Like, <laughs> did you try to say my cousin be doing that shit, nigga? Like, what, which cousin told you that he be doing that? You said it came from my family. <laughs> no, the straight side. Not oh, your actual okay. physical family, blood family. Yeah. No, not that. Oh, I didn't know family. cream was like that. <laughs> you gonna get punched in the yeah, throat? I know. <laughs> Nigga I gonna know. be mad. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, yo, that has been episode one of uh, We uh, Funny AF season yeah. three. Yeah. Welcome back, the and greatest. We gonna holler back. The greatest at- podcast you ever <laughs> motherfucking heard. <laughs> we gonna holler back at y'all. y'all. Niggas gonna listen this year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm actually working. Try. We still got to get Ray up in here. Yeah, he's he been bugging him. to come, and I've been bugging to get him uh, here. So we gotta get gotta him catch back him, man. He be in France castle shopping. <laughs> 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 so we got to get him in there, and I want to get some somebody who might be kind of a big name. Uh, if I can pull it, yeah. But you know, we'll work on we'll this. See Dolly right. Parton getting this. You trying to get that? No. Tell Dolly to come you be on. Trying to touch your titties. Dolly, so come no. on! I'm fucking her. See, I'm fucking her. <laughs> Before she leaves here, I'm fucking her. Dolly Parton, stay here. I'm sorry. Don't come over here. Hey, yo, Dolly. <laughs> Don't come over here. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, she gonna be talking about that's right, sugar honey. No, she gonna yeah, say I'm none gonna like, of that. That's right, sugar <laughs> she honey. She gonna say not nary bit uh, of that. Uh, <laughs> Had some this bear meat. All right, y'all. We got to. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see y'all on the next one. <laughs>